On a guess, lend me your ears. Long has our Fevremont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. Your no Majesty, oh how long I have awaited this moment. Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our liege's reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Ramon! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Hmm, it is hard to say. If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come, are you the one then? Speak up, you good-for-nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Aha, I thought I recognized you. Ha! 
I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap our order. A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate.
shoot them out. Shields offer welcome protection from attacks. Boulders, barrels, and the like make effective weapons for the level combatant. When delivering targeted strikes, I would recommend clinging to them. You! Get back here! This way, Arisen! Come this way. Let us flee. Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down.
Great. Keep your distance, Arisa. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. It is said that the arrival of the Sovereign portends an age of peace, yet only trouble has followed. What does it all mean? I had thought being in the Border Watch would make for easy work, but the wind's beginning to blow in a fell direction. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, no, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. like a word. If you find your strength back, buy the curate or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends come, there are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their... Have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Nelma to see that. We can but hope that the Sovereign will rid us of its airlock. Oh, my God. 
Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. The people here are evacuated and safe, for the moment. Pawns are oft called nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. I am no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there.
Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. So let the camp. Didn't see my knees. A treasure chest. Hoy there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Feels eerie. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime.
always a pleasure. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. If tis discipline your company lacks, I can provide. If we share our strengths, we can begin formulating a strategy that caters to our respective skills. A visit to Melv might jog your memory, Master. It seems the village yet reels from the dragon's assault. Pray, allow me to show you the way. Heyo, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? I can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say... You seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. We ought not to dawdle when our aid is sorely needed. If you can weather a harpy assault unaided, shall we hasten to Sir Ricardo's rescue? Follow me, Master, if you would. I'll bring you to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Oft does the bow prevail where the blade cannot. Pray, allow me the chance to demonstrate my skills as an archer.
All paths fork in the end. There's no sense in lamenting it. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. Come, I'll lead the way. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guards. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. We've arrived. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. We'd best report back. I'll wager I could make that shot. You cut quite the hunter's figure. In relation to that, our party is composed of quite a few men. It is surely a coincidence. Don't make such a fuss. Pray, follow me. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Hail, friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. It was a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. I shan't leave you behind. 